just have a word, if I can, with Chris and, and Andy, new to the team, Andy Tennant. Chris Hopi and Andy Tennant, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> First of all, Andy, welcome to the team. You've um, ridden, well, oh, blimey, how many years at this level now on the road? It must be, I mean, James is talking about seven. I would reckon it's probably eight or nine, is it for you? Yeah, in Britain since 2009, so nearly, yeah, nearly 10 years now. Uh, I think I'm the oldest in the team, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so it's a bit, a bit worrying, but never mind. I, I like to be the, I still remember being the young dog in the team with Rob Hales being my mentor, so. Yeah, it's, um, being the oldest guy is uh, not something I'd like to be honest. <laughs> What's, um, Rob Hales, blimey, that's going back a few years, isn't it? Um, what is your, you know, where, where do you see sort of 2018 being, What's your priority for the year, I guess, Andy? Um, well, really, this uh, the winter's sort of been a bit of a write-off for myself. Um, after Europeans, um, having concussion and being off the bike for sort of six to eight weeks, um, sort of really wrote off my winter, um, sort of redirected my goals. Um, obviously, the Tour Series is um, a big thing, and probably the first time I'm competing in for the last sort of three years. We did bits and bobs of Team Wiggins, but, but not really much. Um, obviously, I've won that in the past. Um, so that's, I think, one of the big aims for the team that I've been brought in to, to try and help. Um, there's some fantastic people here, you know, Rory and Chris are fantastic sprinters, so um, we've had finishes with the, the top three places, hopefully I can be that third man in the third counter, along with Harry and Charlie. Um, we've got a fantastic team there. Um, and then obviously there's Yorkshire and Tour Britain, which are the other two big highlights. Um, but as uh, Hank um, recognised quite earlier, it, it's, it's going to be difficult to get into that team, um, you know, with seven riders. So. Um, we'll just have to see that how, how that plays out. Um, but the Tour Series is the first, first major focus. Um, I would say that's what I'm training for, probably ahead of Yorkshire. Yeah, well, with that in mind, Chris, I mean, it's, oh, I think it's only about four weeks now until Yorkshire, and then straight off the back of that, the Tour Series kicks off. Um, you're a veteran of almost as many Tour Series as Andy, I would guess, down the years. Um, and as far as I remember, you know, Jack Puller won in Aberdeen last year. Uh, that was a terrific result. And, and as, a, as a unit, um, it looked like you could go you, perhaps even closer this year to, to actually winning the overall. Yeah, I think we started off really, really well last year and we just had some bad luck on the second round, or bad luck, bad riding from Molden. And then um, the third round, the rain, it was just a nightmare from there. You know, if it carried on as it started, I think we would have won the team time trial as well if Harry had put himself in a box. <laughs> but um, we've learned from all of those things last year, so going forward it'll make it a lot easier and you've got Andy and you've got Alex now as well, who are both great riders in that sort of race, so it'll make it um, kind of much more intuitive on the road, like you won't have to communicate so much, it'll just be, it will just happen because everyone knows how to do it, so that'll be good. Uh, how's the motivation, Chris, because obviously you spent a couple of years ago you were riding at a higher level, when one pro were riding at a pro-continental level and you were getting invitations to, I don't know, I saw you out in Dubai, didn't I, mixing it with the World Tour teams. Is it, is it tough to take that, if you like, step down again and go again and reboot and keep motivated? Do you want me to cry on stage? Yeah, but, yeah, no. I mean, how, how is it sort of like dropping, dropping back and finding your legs in the, at this level again? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a challenge. Um, to be real honest, I know that I belong in those sprints at that level. Um, I've proved that throughout my career. So. Um, as long as I get the opportunity to do those races, it's brilliant. And then at this level, I get to spend more time with my kids and my wife at home. So it's got like a good, healthy balance to it. Whereas if you race at just a pro conti level, like at this time of year, you would have already done 20 races. You know, it's a lot of days away from home. So it's all about balance, really. Yorkshire, does that sort of, I mean, I don't know, it's a seven-man team. I don't, I don't suppose Tim has told you who's in the team yet, but assuming you're going to be there, it's a little bit sprintier than previous editions, isn't it? Just looking at it, there might be two days where it comes down to a bunch sprint. So, big target of yours? Yeah, I've got a third and a fourth place to improve on, so um, that's the main goal at the moment, really. Fair enough. Wish you all the best. Anything you want to add, Andy? No? Okay, fair enough. <laughs>